Well, you already know who I am, so I'll just skip the intro. In this version of the gamepad viewer, there's a great new option to remap buttons. So to do that, you just open the menu, click remap buttons, and first you're going to need to have at least one controller connected because if you don't have one connected, if you try to select a mapping, it'll alert you to select a mapping base above. So, player one, that's my Xbox controller. As you can see, there's a live update of the values for each button so you know which button's what when you press it on the gamepad. Even the axes as well, when you move around, you know, the sticks. So, it's really easy to change a mapping, even disabling or just changing an axis or a button. So, well, let's clear this one first. First, you'd have to select Add New Mapping. As soon as you click it, it gives you one option. You can then select what you want mapped, be it a button or an axis. If it's a button, just let's say D-pad up, click the set, and then you have a three second window, else it'll just go back to whatever it was before. So once I click, I pressed, well, I pushed up on the left stick. As you can see, it shows axis one negative, because right now I'm holding the left stick, and as you can see up in here, the negative axis is all the way. Now, if you want to map an axis, let's try a different one. You select whether you want the left stick horizontal, left stick vertical, right stick horizontal, or right stick vertical. You can also notice here how that's the positive axis and the negative axis. Do note that positive axis does not mean up, it means the positive axis. So in this case the positive axis for the left stick um, vertical or left stick horizontal is down. Well, we're mapping the horizontal. Um, so here just negative axis up and to apply the mapping, it's simple as clicking Apply Mapping. And as soon as you click out here and select Player 1, right now I have the left stick going up, but it's also going to the left. Same thing with down, but if I do anything with left and right, it's not mapped. I also have Up mapped to the D-pad Up button. This is mainly useful for people who have screwed up mappings due to the fact that they have some weird third party, third party controller and the mappings don't show up how they're supposed to because this mapping set right here is considered the standard mapping where A is 0, B is 1, X is 2, Y is 3, I believe left bumper, yeah right bumper uh, no that's, let's see here, that's left trigger, right trigger and then, yeah, select and start. Select and start. And we have left stick in, right stick in, up, down, left, right. And all the way up is left stick up. All the way down is, well, axis one. The horizontal to the left is negative one. And the horizontal for the left stick to the right is one. Then we have up for negative one on the right stick, down positive one on the right stick, left negative one on the right stick, and right one on the right stick. You can pretty much add as many mappings as you want, but let's say I have the A mapping up here set to up, or up and then I also have the A mapping down here set to down. If I apply this mapping you'll notice that up does nothing but down does. It'll take the last mapping as the most prominent one. Go back here. Also another neat feature is the ability to export a mapping to the URL generator. Here if I click this link open a new tab and I uh, paste and go you'll see that it will do the same thing what I find this extremely useful for is let's say I want to 
use the new fight stick skin, but I don't really prefer the uh, D-pad. I like to, let's say I like to play for God knows what reason with the left stick. Now if I just set all these mappings here for the D-pad, up, down, left, and right, I apply the mapping. As you can see here, I'm moving the left stick up, left, down, right. It's doing that. We switch the fight stick. Ta da! And that's pretty much it. Uh, note I should say is that let's say you try to map an axis and you only set one axis instead of both, these will be ignored. It, it just won't take the mapping. Also, let's say you just simply want to disable something, like uh, say you want to disable the A button. So you just click disable, apply, and I'm pressing B, Y, X. I'm pressing A right now, just so you can see if I go back. It is being pressed because you can see it on the data part it's just ignored. You also can't set it once you click it to disable. And as you can see I've been doing here you can add a one after after that or just delete this one and that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching you know follow me on Twitter, Twitch, uh, subscribe you know if you want uh, to know more about any future updates and stuff like that uh, visit the Trello because there I also post things about what I'm working on, stuff I've already finished. You can see right now I have to finish and put this in archive. Uh, currently not working anything, got a few ideas to work through. You can also add suggestions there if you'd like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's also the uh, OBS thread if you want to look through that and reply there. So yeah, thanks.